copyright notices if you wish to read pause the video the original videos are linked in the description down below enjoy all right then so in this one what you're going to see is how a non-violent person the police has to use violence against and how the actions of one officer can determine the outcome of a whole situation so we'll just get straight into it and break it down before everyone gets involved, they were shouting, calm down. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Oh, what do you want to take the right hand? It's been searched. Yes. On what grounds? On what grounds? On what grounds can you use the No, no. Do not ask what you're saying. No, you need to say the reason you're arrested. Detain your hands up. Oh, calm down! Why are you touching it this way? Innocent. Okay, so we don't understand what's what the circumstances are to make this reaction happen. So as you can see, this bald ski here, the bald copper, is resulted to violence with this uh the last in question she's not been violent she's they haven't told her what section they're using to search her they're not told her what they're expecting to find or who they are who's searching her secondly this guy on the bike did attack a police officer and then got pushed so we'll discount that one because the police did just use reasonable force. I think you need to tell your own what you calm yourself down. What reason? You've not even said what reason she's She's done nothing wrong. I appreciate all you What's the reason you're detaining her? She hasn't told her. This is so clear. She's already checked her. Come and deal with the situation. So now why is she being detained? If you've already had two PCSOs deal with the situation. So they've already searched her back, okay? Yes. And did she not open her coat outside the Yeah, they checked her back. They checked her purse as well. Did they not do that? They checked her purse as well. So now what other grounds have you got to the handcuff bar? He's obviously pushed him up. I haven't seen it, all right? It's a bre this is breach of... Yeah, yeah no, it's So, as you can see, obviously this bald officer is still trying to trip this guy over who he's grabbed for God knows what reason he's going to pin him up for. This lass has been handcuffed for God knows what reason. She's not violent. She's not trying to escape. She's showing no threats of violence towards him. The handcuff should only be used on a violent individual especially in on the back the way they are what you are seeing here is in my eyes a little bit of an excessive force plus we still haven't got down to what they are stopping her for and what section they're using to search her and what they're planning on finding Absolutely. Absolutely. Fascist government. He's out of order, that officer. The way he's handling her and him is out of order. Get his number, actually, 571. I got him, I got him there. That's disgusting. Oh, yeah, Sorry, Hang on. God, he's done. Do you know what? Uh, she's got a school run to go. She's got a school run to go. She's got a school run to go. She's not even stolen. She's got the risk. Right. Yeah, we'll just take you back here, all right? Yeah. Have you got anything on you, Thomas, that you should have? Yeah. Yeah, Okay, because the cameraman didn't keep up with this last, I do not know if... The officers explained what section they're using and what they plan to find. And obviously the shoulder number, the name, the rank, what station they're from. Because all these are things police officers must do before searching you. They must identify themselves with the name, the shoulder number, the rank, and the station they are from. They must explain what section they are using to search you. And they must explain what they are expecting to find on the search. And remember, you're always entitled to a search slip in writing in front of you. Never, ever give your name, address, or any of your identity if you have not been arrested or if they have not found anything. You are not obliged to give any of that. 
It's all right. Just letting you know as well, we are, we are recording this as well. Okay. Go on. You can undo my coat if you want. They've already done a check. Take it over my neck if you want. You do know they checked both her bags and everything with us out there witnessing. So as you can see, this woman which has been searched is not violent, is not aggressive, she's shown no violence or aggression towards these officers. I think the handcuffs are a little bit unnecessary. These officers here, I, I don't know what was said before the camera got there, but I do know that so far they're doing the job as they should. They have informed her that they're recording, so it does make me believe they have told her all the other information she's entitled to. But you see how fast the situation can escalate and the onlookers can get to a, a situation because of the actions of one officer. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I've ended the video there. In my opinion, as you can see, the bold officer escalated the situation which didn't need to be escalated. He used unreasonable force in my eyes. The woman was handcuffed, which didn't really need to be handcuffed. She wasn't being threatening. She wasn't being violent. She wasn't trying to escape. She was complying with everything they said, so the handcuffs was unnecessary. The gentleman, he did uh, assault a police officer. But in a moment of, well, he could get away with it in a moment of protection, which he can get away with. Secondly, he, he, he's going to end up getting done for, obviously, assault on a peace worker, or on an emergency worker, I should say, or a public order offence. It'll be so much stupid, which you can't really challenge in court. But that's just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does open YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.